Hello, welcome to Butler Community College. Today some students are going to show you how to spray a tri-coat. First of all, we got the car ready. We got, you know, had it sanded, got in the booth, ready to paint. Uh, we masked it off and first what we did is we sprayed uh, silver on it, primer silver. And then we uh, sprayed some black because we're going to have some black stripes and a few areas on the car It's going to be black. So we painted that first and then masked that off and now we are ready to spray the first coat of base coat so now they're spraying the the first coat what base coat is that's basically your color and you know that's the pigments metallics and uh, pearls that's in the color what you know whatever color it is and the the eye the, the what what you really want to do with this is get it on really even you want to get good even coats I mean it's not really uh, you know you're not really wanting to get gloss at this point and you're not really wanting to get a you know get it on there too thick just nice even coverage uh, until you achieve full hiding usually two coats and you'll achieve full hiding and notice that uh, he's going all the way across the fender uh, that's one of the mistakes I, I see a lot of times with students they try to do it like you would with a rattle can or something and you know do a little piece at a time but make sure they're good even strokes that you overlap each uh, pa each pass 50% uh, we're going to be uh, switching to waterborne here soon with PPG, and uh, that's a 75% overlap. But right now, this is uh, PPG solvent borne and our solvent base paint, and it's a 50% overlap and nice even passes. Uh, we're about to speed it up a little bit because it'd take a long time to get around this entire car, you know, with all the coats that we're going to have to do. So here we go. We're going to speed it up just a little bit, and uh, just notice that. Uh, that he's going all the way across the the hood 50 percent overlap and that you know and also make sure you can tell like he's trying to angle the gun to the back of the hood around the wheel wells uh, where the headlight goes because if you don't angle the gun to the exact location of the things you're trying to paint the paint's not going to get there it's not going to cover well you might not have full hiding you're going to have dry spots and things like that so around the wheel wells like right there uh, you know the gun angle has to be you know at the, at the whatever angle it is that you're painting so very important like the top of the door make sure that you're you, you know you have one pass shooting kind of down towards that or it might be a dry area up there These two guys have been spraying together. They've done a lot of cars. They've become really good painters since they've been here at Butler. They're second year students. They'll be graduating soon. But uh, they have, they've, they've teamed together on a lot of cars and they've done some really good work. What they're doing here is they're tacking off in between the base coat and this is take off any dirt that may have got on there. Now you can do this until the clear coat. Once the clear coat uh, process has started it's too tacky and uh, you know it, it caused some problems he's applying the second coat now and, and like I mentioned uh, we was able to get full hiding with two coats with this certain uh, particular color some colors if they're high in metallics and have a lot of uh, transparency in them it may take more than two but I think most paints uh, through PPG anyway uh, usually two coats achieves the full hiding Now here he comes and gets that top edge there. And this particular color, it's a E9, and uh, we mix it up, and, and the base coat has a lot of pearl in it. So what you're going to see uh, is you're going to see that pearl, uh, and then we're going to put this tinted clear on next. That's what he's putting on right now. And notice he does a different spraying technique. But you're going to be able to see that pearl and that base color through this because remember this is just a tinted clear. It's real transparent which is going to kind of tint that top color yet you're still going to see through and see the bottom color. That gives it depth and uh, it's real similar to the candy colors. Now notice that he's going back and forth the entire panel now and the reason he's doing that is because he don't want that extra build up on the end of each panel because with uh, these type of colors, these mid coats, these tinted clears, uh, you know one color color is going to be different than two colors if you have two coats on it so if there's extra paint on those edges 
it's good it may uh, change the color a little bit there so we kind of have to be a little more careful with this and just get it on good and even uh, again we're not looking for a lot of millage we're just trying to get it real good and even and and that you know it's more more critical that we do the entire car uh, at one time with this and if you ever painted any candy coats candy colors uh, it's the same way you pretty well have got to do the whenever you're doing that process do the whole side at one time and be real consistent with it your overlap and and uh, all that's really important you know it'd be nice if we could really paint this fast uh, and, uh, we could kick them out pretty fast but it takes a little bit longer than this again he's uh... this is the uh, other painter he's going all the way down the side and you gotta learn how to walk with it a little bit so you're not uh, stopping you know the guns never stopping even though he's stepping it out the gun uh, never stops in one spot because if it stopped in one spot you're probably going to get runs and if you did do that it's going to be a lot darker in that area um, now the second coat is being put on and again we're going to put on two coats of this to get the desired result that we're looking for if we put three colors it would be a different color now what they're doing is they're putting an attack coat of clear coat this is actually the first coat of clear but it's really thin and that's because of the stripes that we have on there just so the clear doesn't try to run off of those stripes just uh, kind of gives it the next full wet coat which we're spraying right now it gives this coat something to stick to uh, kind of makes a tacky surface for it to stick to where you can put it on a little bit heavier without running where the stripes were at now he's putting on the uh, the second full wet coat, which this is the final coat, and this is where you know where it all ends up at. This is the regular speed, so you can see that it does take longer to paint this car than we showed in this video. And this is uh, this is the final coat. And if you check back, we'll be showing you some more uh, photos and some end results and some pictures of what it looks like after we get it out, get it uh, detailed and and ready to to give back thanks for watching and check back to see what the end result looks like and see what it looks like outside talk to you soon